Welcome, guys, to my new Vaidhi. This is second chapter in computer science course. In this video, I need to talk about the extended partitions and why it's important to back up your data. So pay attention and let's start our course. What is the extended partitions? An extended partition is a special type of partition that can contain multiple logical drives. Logical drives are essentially partitions within the extended partitions. When you format the partition where the operating system is, you are only erasing the data on that partition. The extended partition and the logical drives within it will not be affected. However, it is important to note that the new OS may not be able to access the extended partition or the logical drives within it. This is because the new OS may not recognize the file system that is being used on the extended partition. Here are some additional tips for protecting your data. First, back up your data regularly to an external hard drive. Second, create a system image of your computer. This will create a backup of your entire operating system and your data. Third, use an antivirus program to protect your computer from viruses. The advantage of an extended partition is that it allows you to have more than four partitions on a disk. This can be useful if you need to separate your data into different partitions. A primary partition is a partition that can be booted from. This means that the computer can start up from it. A primary partition can also be used to store data, but it is not necessary. A shrink volume is the process of reducing the size of partition. This can be useful for creating a new partition or for freeing up space on an existing partition. You can install the operating system on a shrink volume, but there are a few things to keep in mind. First, the shrink volume must be large enough to hold the operating system and all of its necessary files. Second, the shrink volume must be formatted with the correct file system. The operating system installation process will usually format the shrink volume for you. Third point, the type format for a shrink volume is NTFS. NTFS is the default file system for Windows operating systems and is the most compatible file system for shrink volumes. Finally, NTFS is a more efficient file system than FAT32 and XFAT, and it supports features such as file encryption, disk quota, and user permissions. To shrink a volume, right-click on the volume you want to shrink and select Shrink Volume. Then enter the amount of space you want to shrink the volume by and click on Shrink. The Disk Management tool will create a new unallocated space that you can use to create a new partition or to extend an existing partition. That's all for the extended partitions. If you are interested in computer science and coding, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me for more video. And if you have any question, contact me on Instagram, the link in bio. That's all for today. See you in next video.